there may be a chance by this time next year your nvidia gpu yes even the 4090 is going to be technically outdated there are some new reports and this was hinted at by nvidia themselves they want to release gpus really fast why this is primarily going to concern obviously data center and ai gpus but we really can't stop and think how it's going to affect gaming gpus after all the next generation coming out in 2024 is going to be the blackwell line of gpus and of course both for ai and for gaming and as we've seen with nvidia's really heavy push towards the software side such as dlss 3 dlss 3.5 ai is still a pretty important part of gaming gpus in fact when somebody asked nvidia ceo if they were going to ignore the gaming market um, in favor of the much more profitable ai gpus he seemed a little bit upset by that saying that they focused on ai on gaming gpus as is evident with like dlss and things like that obviously people are a little bit upset that some of the hardware specs like the 4070 4070 ti the memory bandwidth just seems to be a little bit under class compared to what we're used to getting but i guess if you view that in light with what nvidia is doing with software that's their viewpoint on it anyway but the main issue really remains pricing and how nvidia sort of markets these gpus so the question is if nvidia is going to have like a rapid gpu release cycle meaning like every year you're literally going to have a new generation if this transfers over to gaming gpus we don't know yet what it's going to mean for gaming of course ai they need to keep a lead because everybody is jumping in so if they can create a really wide gap in their lead other players like amd and intel and microsoft even is thinking of getting into the ai game they're gonna fall behind because they're not going to be able to keep up with nvidia's pace that's actually been kind of true with the rtx 4000 i mean look at how far ahead the 4090 is and the rtx you know 40 series compared to like intel who recently came in and their gpus are mostly comparable to like rtx 3000 and even on the amd side ray tracing and things like that seem to be about a generation behind from nvidia so this is certainly a strategy that they have and that way the competition can't really even touch you now even though a 4090 obviously is going to be good next year it's going to be good the following year i believe that gpu price aside much like the 1080 ti is really going to stand the test of time and be a very good gpu for years to come so it's not going to be outdated in terms of playing games or anything like that but you know how people are right if there's a 5090 all of a sudden those 4090 owners have the itch to sell their 4090s because it's now technically old and jump on the newest 5090 and then soon after if it's a yearly release cycle you're going to have what a 6090 think about the huge generational leap that we may be experiencing because all right the 4090 is really powerful and i'm using that as an example as nvidia's best gpu and you would think that's all that i need right why would i even need a 5090 or a 6090 in two years but what if because of ai and nvidia is going so fast with the way that they develop gpus what if it is a really big difference sure you can still use your 4090 but what if then we have 8k or maybe even you know higher resolution or maybe if games get more challenging and something like a 5090 just performs way better maybe if sort of the rate of progression goes faster that certainly will outdate some of the gpus now i mean it took a long time for the 1080 ti to be outdated it's only really been recent that it struggles to keep up in a lot of newer titles the last few years it kind of kept up fairly well especially with the lower end new releases but 4090 is certainly a different matter but anyway let's see what's going to happen if nvidia starts to release on point every single year a new architecture on the gaming gpu side and not just ai and data centers if we can benefit from the work that they're doing on the data center side that's going to be great for gamers obviously the other side of the coin is that they could really just focus their updating and they're going to be overtaxed on the ai side and they may ignore the gaming side because maybe they're going to, they're going to be going just way too fast with data centers that they don't have time to update gaming 
Hopefully they're not sacrificing gaming GPUs in that progression, but we're really going to have to wait and see what happens. Interesting though that Nvidia really wants to, you know, pump up that competition at least in data centers. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that it ends up with some better gaming GPUs as well as better pricing if they're going that fast. Maybe they can reduce some of the pricing in the future, but not entirely optimistic on that point. All right, guys, so let me know what you think down below. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.